At the end of 2023, PBS News reported that Texas has gone green. They said that oil country has become the renewable energy leader in the United States, with more wind capacity than any other state, and it's second only to California in solar. Now, if you had to guess which state in America was hands down producing the most green renewable energy, you'd probably guess, I imagine, California. But not so. It's Texas. The state epitomizes oil and gas, and it got rich powering the nation for decades by doing that. But now it's the biggest producer of wind and soon solar. Now, one study found that all this cheap renew renewable energy in Texas is actually saving the average household more than $200 per year. In some places in Texas, you can charge your electric car for free. And a lot of experts are now saying Texas has reached the tipping point. It will no longer install any more fossil fuel energy because it, it doesn't make economic sense. So now it's just a question of when will Texas hit 90% plus renewable energy. It could happen much sooner than you think. Experts say that United States battery storage capacity will double in 2024. So all the batteries that currently exist in the US, a lot of them support the grid, of course, but all of them will double in size this year alone. And a lot of that is thanks to new batteries being installed in Texas of all places. Now, this new mega battery in Texas is actually a big solar farm, and there's a battery right next to the solar farm. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Texas needs solar and battery storage to help meet demand and balance the grid because Texas has huge amounts of wind power already. In fact, it's got more wind power than any other state in America. In fact, it's got more wind power than most countries do. Now, what this means, though, is that Texas is actually starting to lead the way in the US in terms of its renewable energy capacity. Enel in North America has begun constructing the Abel's Springs Solar Plus storage project in Kaufman County, which is near Dallas. The project has a 186 megawatt solar farm connected to a 115 megawatt uh, what, slash 169 megawatt hour battery storage project. So what this means is obviously we all have plenty of uh, electricity. Well, most, most places now have plenty of electricity during the day. All those solar panels, they soak up the sun at nighttime, you know, all that battery power, that's when that's needed. Able Springs is Enel's 17th renewables project in Texas alone, where it has installed 3.8 gigawatts of wind and solar plus over one gigawatt of grid scale energy storage. So, you know, renewables are going crazy in Texas. Now, a lot of people in Texas, they genuinely believe if you plug in your uh, appliances or your electric car or anything, you're just charging them, running them through coal power. But actually, it's not the case in Texas. Texas consumes more energy, though, than any other state and demand is growing. Already the United States leader in solar and wind, it's turning to battery storage to maintain the ERCOT or ERCOT grid's reliability in the face of extreme weather and rising needs for electricity. It's expected to add more new grid battery capacity in 2024, 6.4 gigawatts in total, than any other state in North America according to the US Energy Information Administration. So that's the projects that are you know, currently online to be installed this year. There might even be more pop up by the end of the year though. Now, the bizarre thing about all this is that Texas is actually the biggest crude oil and natural gas producing state in the US as well. So Texas is just like a, a superpower when it comes to energy. I'm not saying in a good way necessarily. Uh, you know, that oil, oil production, I think is probably maybe not going to be a long-term contributor to Texas economy. Now, they probably think it is. When ERCOT conditions tightened this winter, Enel's solar and storage plants provided crucial generation and quick response batteries that help keep the lights and heat on, said Stephen Pike, who is the head of Enel Green Power North America. Able Springs, which is the name of the project, will generate 320 gigawatt hours of clean energy every year. That's enough 
to supply power to more than 30,000 houses. Over its lifetime, the project will generate $50 million in tax revenue for schools and public services. It'll come online in late 2024. Now, if this was a nuclear power plant, let's say a, a small one, it would take about 10 years to build. Uh, you know, if you want to be super, super optimistic and go maybe seven years at, in the shortest period time frame you can imagine. Now, projects like this though, solar and battery farms, they take usually only about six months to build. It's incredible. Now, Enor, the company, they've actually built out more than 10 gigawatts of installed wind and solar capacity across the United States and Canada. And they have over one gigawatt installed utility scale battery storage. These guys are actually playing a big part in the US energy future. The EIA says that battery installations will jump by 90% this year compared to 2023, as long as the projects that are actually planned to happen this year do actually happen. As of November 2023, the United States had more than 15 gigawatts of planned and operational capacity and developers plan to expand that capacity by more than 30 gigawatts by the end of 2024. The more than 30 gigawatt capacity would exceed those of petroleum liquids, geothermal, wood and wood waste or landfill gas combined, said the administration. California and Texas lead the US battery storage installations as their wind and solar generating fleets are growing at rapid speed. Now it's, it's these kinds of new installations, these, these solar farms that sit right next to battery storage projects, which I see as being the future of America's grid. Not everyone agrees with me though. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.